Consequences of open defecation. Open defecation poses significant health risks, especially in densely populated areas with inadequate sanitation facilities. Addressing open defecation requires a multifaceted approach involving infrastructure development, education and community engagement. Footage of the repulse of the Russian assault on Urozhny showcases the work of FPV operators from the Chimera unit, part of the OPBR named after B. Khmelnytsky. Explosive work by FPV drones carried out by operators from TSSOA of the SBU targeted enemy ATVs, tanks, MTLBs with infantry and MSTAS self-propelled guns. By the way, it's fascinating to see how technology like FPV drones is being used in combat situations. These unmanned aerial vehicles can provide critical intelligence and strike capabilities, making them valuable assets on the battlefield. Perun, Rubpak operators. Decimate Russian personnel, vehicles and equipment near Staritsa village. In a fierce clash near the village of Staritsa in the Kharkiv region, the operators of the 42nd OMBR, Perun, demonstrated their unwavering resolve. Their mission, to dismantle the Russian forces piece by piece. 45th OABR, Operational Air Brigade, is cooperating with Air Reconnaissance 63rd OMBR, Motorized Rifle Brigade. The fuel filler has been removed. The operation is in the Luhansk direction. Close quarters combat, fire adjustment, drone operations, sniping and capturing prisoners constitute the daily tasks of SSO fighters the life of an SSO fighter. Beyond the battlefield, in the shadowy realm of covert operations, where danger lurks around every corner and secrecy is paramount, the Special Security Operations SSO fighters navigate a treacherous path. Their mission, to protect, to strike and to survive. But there's more to their story than the terse bullet points suggest. This is how firefighters eliminate the consequences of the occupier's attack on the printing house Factor Druk in Kharkiv. Regarding the last explosion in Kharkiv, the head of the OVA Sinigubov said that the Russians had struck Kharkov and Dergachi with anti-aircraft guns. There is one wounded person in Dergachi. The Bilogorivka region, a once pristine landscape, now bears the scars of conflict. The battlefield, stained with blood and echoes of gunfire, has transformed into a graveyard of twisted metal, a testament to the fierce struggle between opposing forces. Among the wreckage, the remnants of war lie scattered like broken dreams. Tanks, artillery pieces and armoured vehicles, once symbols of power, now rust and decay. The term Katsap scrap metal is whispered in hushed tones. It refers to the defeated enemy's war machines, their pride reduced to twisted heaps. A hero is not always defined by a destination, but rather by an act, a difficult choice made at the right moment. This powerful video pays tribute to Heroes Day from the 33rd OMBA.
The city falls asleep, the infantry wakes up. Our boys greet the invaders with salutes, the nightwork of magical birds. The UAV Shark coordinates the impact of two GMLR's missiles on the R-300 EZ Gitel complex. The units of the Burevi Brigade successfully identified and eliminated enemy personnel in the slums of the Serebryansk forest. The jewellery work of the Rubpak Bulava pilots from the 72nd OMBR. Destruction of enemy equipment on the approaches to Chassi Yaru. Destruction of enemy equipment on the approaches to Chassi Yaru. 